Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for watching today. Sorry about the delay. Busy day today on Thursday. It is Thursday, uh, December 8th. And today, the topic today is remember to stay connected to your deepest purpose. Remember to stay connected to your deepest purpose. And what do I mean by this? Is that, let me just stay uh, in the business realm of things. <laughs> you know, I could go on for your deepest purpose of spiritually, uh, your relationships, your love in your life, uh, you know, just deepest purpose of being a human <laughs> and your deepest purpose of being in real estate. So I'm going to stick with that specific topic. So what is your purpose for being in real estate? What is it? It's your vision, your thing, the thing that you got into real estate for. What is, what's your goals? What's your dreams? What are, what's your purpose uh, for, for doing the things you need to do every day in real estate? And because I see a, a lack of focus sometimes on coaching agents daily is that they, they lose track or lose focus of what they want and why they got into real estate because it gets sometimes you just get discouraged you know you don't make the prospecting calls at the, uh, throughout the day you don't make the connections you're not following up with people you're you're getting distracted easily now there when you compare two agents one hitting their goals and doing the things that they want to do and and being successful and happy in real estate and the people that are trying and just not getting to where they want to be and are not satisfied with their career, not satisfied by what they're accomplishing. I think one of the main differences between those that successful agent and the agents that's not making it is the they know they are connected, the successful ones are connected with their deepest, their, their purpose. They remind themselves, they know what their purpose is. They, they envision it. They see it consciously or unconsciously every day. They remind themselves of it, of what their purpose is and why they're doing it and what the ultimate goal is. Because if you wouldn't stop, if you knew Honestly, if you really knew that real estate is your ticket, is your dream, is your uh, the, you have you're grateful for having the opportunity every day to build something into something more, because what would where would you be without real estate? So the purpose that you got in the real estate for. Can you find that somewhere else? I think that's what happens. Some agents that get out of real estate, well, I'm going to go try to find it somewhere else. As far as I could see, well, I'm a little, you know, I have uh, an interest in real estate and been doing it for 30 years is I don't see another opportunity quite as good as real estate, if you like what you do. So please, you know, if you feel down, you feel disconnected, you feel like you're not, your, your vision is blurred, try to get that focus back, spend some time, meditate a little bit, think a little extra, remind yourself, you know, make a vision board of what you want to accomplish and figure out where that disconnect is mentally, not understanding that doing the things you knew, need to do every day in real estate will get you to where you want, will give you the purpose or remind you that the reason why you're in this. And I think one of the most important reasons why a lot of agents get in real estate is the opportunity, the opportunity to build something, the opportunity to be financially free, the opportunity to build your own business with very, very, very little risk outside of your time. I, I've told you in many, many videos, all the advantages I see and always have seen in starting your own business and being in real estate compared to other industries and other things that you can be doing. Uh, I won't go into that laundry list of great things, but I, I don't, if you 
talk if I talk to anybody that oh, is going to open up a business of some sort or try to find something to do part time while they build their business and have another job or other life uh, requirements, I don't see something as good and as as the the uptick compared to the negativity, the the pros way outweigh any cons that possibly could happen. And again, the the connection or the difference between someone who's successful in real estate and someone who's not, or someone that is hitting their goals and to someone who's not hitting their goals is the lack of focus, I believe, and not staying connected to their purpose of why they are here and why they are doing it. So a little deep thought in your deep connection with your deep purpose <laughs> of being in real estate. So give it some thought, think about it, meditate on it, try to figure out where that disconnect is happening because every day, my opinion, should get up in a great mood because you have the opportunity to take this business to any level that you want. And I see it, I promise you, I see it. I see many, many successful agents every day they're doing it because they're doing the things that I'm telling you to do, the things that I'm explaining to all these different videos and listen to other real estate coaches and people that are successful in real estate and they're just following that blueprint. So that's it for today on a Thursday and I appreciate you watching and we'll see you tomorrow on Friday. Bye-bye.